Not good. Not good. If you didn't get something around 150, 150 155, I think, or maybe 150 to 160, you should have gotten awfully close to 155. Yeah. Uh, because this is smooth, flat, everything's it, what, Let us check your technique. Did, did anybody measure? What'd you get over there? 160. 160. 160, somewhere, right? So how right. the dip? So the dip 40, is 40. 40. And what was it here? 33. 26. Uh, <laughs> so we really shouldn't have got a, a great you variance should have in gotten strike between here and there? Something very similar. Okay. So here's what we're going to do next. Okay, so we're going to do this a different way. And this is the real point of this particular exercise. Um, what was the definition of strike again? Horizontal line on an inclined plane. So we have a nice inclined plane here. How might I find a horizontal line on this inclined plane? Using like a flat surface, like a book, and then bubble leveling. Mm -hmm. Step up, think about a little bigger. Straight across. Straight across. So here's what we're going to do. Take a measurement from each side. We are yeah. going to do a field version of what's called the three point problem. And Yay. that's why mm -hmm. we, we're going to have an array of geologists. Three geologists, everybody stands on it. Three people stand on our <coughs> position on the contact. On the same bed. Same bed. Okay. So we're going to sit on this contact. Or I guess we could pick a different bed because we're going to have to spread out a little. Whoever's your most agile member, maybe should go up there. Uh, <laughs> and maybe somebody over there and then another person over here. Or actually somebody down in a creek bed. But, but now, now wait, wait. So what we're going to do then, so three people are just markers. Now, if I'm going to find the uh, strike line, what about the low guy down here? Are they going to be able to find something that's comparable elevation to them on the contact? A person. <laughs> so we, yeah, we do have to have somebody there? No. Yep, do you get what I'm asking? I'm getting confused. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the guy that's up there, or the person that's standing up there, where's the comparable elevation? So it's the same elevation on the bedding plane up there. Where's that going to be on this side of the plane? Back there somewhere, right? The person in the gully, where's the thing that's going to be the comparable position for them? Uh, underground, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> they can't see it. But if you're somewhere along the edge here, what do we got, right? So if I look across, <coughs> there's things at my elevation, right? Okay. Make sense? Mm -hmm. So here's what we're going to do. I, but wait, we're going to need a GPS here, too. So that's why the rover is going to be the measure. <laughs> but what we're going to do is each, there's going to be the three people that find a position. They're going to find the contact. One of the rovers is going to be standing across the gully here somewhere. And the person that's at intermediate elevation, which is going to be this one, is going to align that person over there to get them at the same height. Now, how are you going to do that? You're going to have to give them hand signals or something, right? How are you going to How are you going to figure out their height that they're at the same height as you are? Same elevation. The front. Mm -hmm. I got a front neck and bar. Side in. The front is made for this. Oh, like a uh, like half that are missing the needle stuff. <laughs> Beat that. You don't, need a, you don't need no stinking needle. <laughs> if I level this, I could do this with a level bubble too, but this works just fine. I set the compass to zero. The chronometer. The chronometer. When I set the compass to zero, if I go like this, it'll level, right? This thing has a little gun sight here, or a little bullseye sight. So what you can do is look through that peephole 
and find your partner standing there eye to eye. We'll assume they're the same height, close enough for government work. <laughs> and you find them and you tell them go that way and go that way. And then once they're there, then you take your compass and sight on them and get that, this, get that bearing. What does that bearing tell me? One point. Huh? One point of the three point. Yeah, what, 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 oh. no, what does it tell me? What's that measurement going to be? What is that compass direction? Mm -hmm. That's the strike. Yeah. So you've measured strike now from a different direction. Now that's that's the, that's the first part of your estimate. Now the next thing you're going to do is your the fifth member of your crew is going to wander around with a GPS and measure position here, position there, position there <coughs> and the other position. We're going to use those next week uh, for to test this out. Okay, that makes sense. Now you got to learn how to use a GPS. So if you got a GPS here. There's, you should, each group should have a GPS. These guys, they're not meant for this, but we're going to use them. Uh, you can actually plot the person that's doing this. Should